Uh, this is Sergio Padilla. This is my sister, Natalie Padilla, who I'm Hello. going to be interviewing. What were your dreams growing up, and what did you aspire to become? Growing up, I knew I wanted to do something that helped people or just made people feel good in general. Um, originally, I did want to be a um, psychology major and become a therapist. How did you choose your eventual career, and what was your favorite part about it? So I worked in my our and salon growing up. Um, I was just a receptionist, but I got to see a lot of behind the scenes of being a salon owner and how creative you can be um, being a hairstylist. And um, eventually I realized that that's something that I have passion for and decided to pursue that. What made you successful at work? I think what has made me successful at work um, in such a short period of time was just having passion for what I do. I think when you love what you do, um, you can be successful at anything. What did you believe about yourself to help you become successful at and deal with the hard times? I think I just thought to myself, okay, um, like I just said, like if I have passion for something and I have love for something, I can get through it. And I knew whatever I put my mind to, um, I would be good at because if there's a will, there's a way. What times in your life did you truly, cha what times in your life truly challenged you? And w what did you learn about yourself dealing with uh, adversity? Um, I think one of the most challenging times in my life was probably high school. Um, I didn't have very man many good friends and I was bullied. I think I just, um, when you're in high school, everything feels so isolated and you don't really see the light at the end of the tunnel. So I think just um, relying on myself and um, staying positive has helped me um, get through those hard times. Um, what are some values that you hold? Um, go growing up in a Catholic home, I think one of um, the a couple values that I hold are to um, spread kindness to others, don't do to others what you don't want done to you, and to just overall being honest and kind person. Which three events most shaped your life? One of the most um, impactful events that shaped my life was getting um, my first dog um, and taking care of her on my own and kind of seeing what it feels like to be a parent and having a responsibility over someone else's life. Um, I would say just going through high school in general and dealing with um, a bunch of difficult scenarios to shape me into the strong person I am today. And I would say another um, was when my mom had my two younger brothers and just showing me um, how much hard work it takes. Which three words best describe who you tried to be in your life and how you want to be remembered? I would say empathetic, kind, and um, let's see, and daring. Um, I think I, um, I, I want to be remembered as someone who always um, took a risk and went for the things they wanted and just an overall kind person. What do you think the world needs more right now? I think the world needs more compassion. I think we don't have enough empathy for others and um, we kind of tend to pick up each other apart and not put ourselves in other people's shoes. What do you think the meaning to life is? I think the meaning of life is to um, do what you love and um, surround yourself with people that you love as well. What did you find most beautiful about life? I think what I found most beautiful about life was um, the relationships we can build, like with family, friends, um, even how friends can become your family, and um, just how you can build these amazing relationships with people that you can rely on for anything. Is there anything you'd still like to do in life? Um, there's a lot of things I'd like to do. and in my life, so I'd love to become a salon owner, I'd love to um, open up another side business, and I'd love to um, develop more income to provide for my family.
What is an activity that you enjoy doing in your spare time and why? I think my favorite thing to do in my spare time is um, take my dogs out and explore different places, different hikes, um, and different sceneries. What is your biggest weakness and how do you plan to overcome it? My biggest, my biggest weakness is definitely my procrastination. Um, it's something that I still struggle with till this day and um, it's definitely putting me behind sometimes, but um, I, I think now that I'm older, I just like try to be more punctual with my things and um, ha that pushes me, yeah. Okay, thank you Natalie. Mm -hmm.